There has always been a connection between pro sports and celebrity, but the new owner of the Miami Dolphins is banking on it. Real estate mogul Stephen Ross bought the team eight months ago. A partnership with entertainer Jimmy Buffett. The stadium was even named after his brand of beer. A series of minority owners, Gloria and Emilio Estefan, Mark Anthony, and Serena and Venus Williams. They were all on what the team dubbed an orange carpet for the Dolphins' return to Monday Night Football this week. You know, everybody loves a great party. You know, what we're trying to do is create the, the, the game day to be a party. And people want to be at parties, and that's what it's all about. Ross's partnerships with celebrities is new in the NFL, and he's doing it to stir up fan interest. But he says the number one, two, and three priority is to win. Having the fans, you know, uh, fill, having the stadium filled with fans, and that's the most important thing. And what does football operations chief Bill Parcells think about it? Bill, I mean, he's aware of everything we're doing, and he certainly is uh, been very positive. Parcells' four-year contract has a clause allowing him to leave at any time and collect the $12 million due him. But Ross says he's confident Parcells will see the Dolphins through. I think, first of all, living in South Florida, I think everybody would choose to do that, especially this time in his life. And uh, I think that uh, what he's building here, I think he wants to probably see it uh, succeed and, and be here to bear the fruits of what, of what he's doing. So uh, there's no reason that he would really have to leave any, you know, leave here. And I think that, uh, you know, he came home to a place that I think is probably going to be where he makes his mark, his last stand, so to speak. The Dolphins' celebrity strategy has certainly increased attention, and there's a 5% increase in season ticket sales. But it's unknown whether this new kind of bench will deliver on the field, where the Dolphins are 0-2 after winning the AFC East last year. Steve Wine, the Associated Press, Miami.